The worst economic collapse is coming. Credit Suisse critique. The banking sector is deeply in trouble. And last month, there was a social media frenzy about Credit Suisse going under. This sparked a sharp decline in its stock prices, sending its customers and investors into panic. In fact, Credit Suisse has lost a whopping 66% in its value this year alone, and still about 95% below its 2007 peak. Some of its wealthy clients also pulled as much as 88.3 billion billion dollars of their money out of the bank. This happened while the bank is still trying to restructure. Many people are making a fuss about the issue since they see what's happening right now and what happened to Lehman Brothers back in 2008, which sent the global economy into turmoil. That's why in today's video, I'm gonna talk about what's going on regarding this particular issue and what it means to the market and how it's going to affect you. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Munif Ali, and I'm a self-made multimillionaire who started this channel to share my life experiences to teach you how to become more successful. So if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and let that algorithm know that I am here. Credit Suisse is one of the world's most prestigious and biggest investment banks, and is considered a global, systematically important bank. It is one of the primary dealers and Forex counterparties of the Fed. Basically, whatever happens with Credit Suisse could potentially have a significant impact on the global economy. And the same bank just recently announced that it could lose up to $1.6 billion in just the last quarter this year. Some analysts even said that Credit Suisse could lose as much as $8 billion by 2024. While this might not be enough to say the bank is bound to fail, it could put it in a very precarious situation where it could fall below the required regulatory capital ratio. For those who are not familiar with how the banking system works, every bank institution is required to keep a certain amount of cash in reserve just in case something bad happens. This will allow them to fund their clients or investors when they pull money out from the bank. This would also let them maintain their good standing with the regulatory agency, which is now at risk because a lot of wealthy people are actually pulling their money out and have forced Credit Suisse to dip into their liquidity buffer. According to the latest financial report from Credit Suisse, their common equity tier one or CET one ratio that measures the ability of a bank to withstand stress or unforeseen events is at 12.6%, which is way above regulatory requirement of 10%. And if you look at these figures, you'll probably say Credit Suisse is well capitalized and far from collapsing. But considering the various scandals and litigations that the bank is currently facing on top of the continuous decline of public trust, which is by the way, very critical for a banking institution. Well, we don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Right now, Credit Suisse is thinking of ways to raise capital again. They've announced that they will offer more shares at a diluted price that could raise at least $4.2 billion, which doesn't make the stakeholder happy as stock prices are experiencing a massive decline and now their shares are becoming diluted. So what would this issue mean to you? Earlier in the video, I mentioned that people are comparing what is happening with Credit Suisse with what had happened with Lehman Brothers back in 2008. When Lehman Brothers collapsed, over 25,000 employees lost their job. And with 93% drop in its stock prices, many investors and businesses were greatly affected. It was reported that there were more than 75 bankruptcy proceedings following the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers alone. Some reports also claim that the failure of Lehman Brothers was a major cause of the domino effect of several financial disasters that all culminated in the 2008 global financial crisis. If you think about it, how eerily similar what is happening with Credit Suisse right now to what happened with Lehman Brothers. You can't blame their investors for pulling massive chunks of their assets out of Credit Suisse. We are not just looking at a single company on the verge of collapse. We're looking at a major turning point in our economy. If Credit Suisse fails, thousands of jobs will be lost, which will send the global market into turmoil and several individuals and businesses could follow suit. Remember, Credit Suisse is the 45th largest bank in the world and the second largest Swiss based bank and is listed as one of the systematically important financial institutions in the world. In other words, if something bad happens to Credit Suisse, they pose a serious risk to the global economy. But I doubt the government would allow that to happen. So for now, what we can do is prepare and brace ourselves for the worst. Set aside some cash you can easily access and be financially aware of what's happening around you. This is not just about Credit Suisse. This is about our economy as a whole all around the Low. So there is no harm in being aware of these things, especially if you're an investor or a business owner. So keep yourself updated. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you found this video valuable. And if you do, please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and click on the subscribe button for more meaningful content just like this. If you want to know more about financial independence in your 20s, check out this video next, how to become financially independent in your 20s.